Hi. Oh yeah. Team Derby car, figure eight, six cylinder. Eleven hundred. Stag eleven hundred. Can't wait to smash him up. Sixteen. Bye. Ooh, look, it's a spider web, brother. Hey everybody, this thing is seven thing is seven people. Bro, this pause it here. Hey, hey everybody, Dan Simon, Dan Simon, YouTube channel, Dan Simon, and today, guys, we're going to look at some Buick clips from the first ever Buick Derby car using the playlist I have for it. Probably finishing up with the finale of it. But I'm going to talk a little bit about this car through the few clips that we got. There she is, the new 1100 Derby car, which will be uh, Well, right there is the 1100 Derby car. When we started working on it, we were uh, thinking of some ideas and messing with it a little bit there. Guys, um, yeah, it, we didn't really have the black window out yet. We were still working on it at the time. Got the trunk open, start to strip out the trunk, got the back tail lights out. Well, with this one, it, it, I learned one thing off this car was never cut the back tail lights out. There's th four wires that are wired into the tail light cluster that go to your fuel pump. If I knew that, <laughs> I did the dumb thing and cut them. I didn't know. But the future ones of these cars that I built, these Buick Centuries, I learned that from that. So, yeah, there's, uh, I guess I'm showing uh, the car. Now we got a uh, a video of the engine of it. Yeah, there it is. Pretty crazy, though. But, yeah, guys, uh, we had the old 3300 in it. It was a good car. Talking about removing the, you know, the tail light, the headlights and all that, the bumper covers. And stuff like that on it. The car. Interior of the car. Lazy Back when we used to hang with Lazy Boys Derby Team. Which they're still around. They used to come up and help us with uh, Derby cars and stuff. They were going to put their name on the car for helping us build this car. This is like my first introduction into Buicks. So yeah. Pretty crazy though. Uh, oh. Got power now. Off the uh, battery cables. The battery cables in. Using this battery, see if it'll start. This is Dan Simon for Dan Simon YouTube channel. Dan Simon, this is just a quick sneak peek of what. Well, being me, I like to start painting stuff right away. The car right there was already getting painted. We still haven't even pulled the headlight bezel off or the headlights out of it, but we've been working on it a little bit. Eventually, the whole hood part comes off. And uh, this old Buick, man, we uh, over the whole year and the uh, winter, we worked on it a little bit here, a little bit there. It looks like we already got the passenger seat out, the back seat out. We got all the glass out, so we already got that stripped out. We were working on it here and there, so yeah, looks pretty good. Let's see what else we can find. Yeah, you can tell in there, you can tell the interior was stripped out already. Then we already got the passenger seat out, which now on my cars, I like running the passenger seat. If you don't allow seat parts, I, I use the passenger seat kind of like a seat bar. But uh, some, some of the derbies, you can't run a, even a seat bar by the seat. I don't know why, but you can't. Let's continue. And please subscribe and please like this video. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Remember, two weeks, this girl will be running. Go on. And, and driving. Bye. This is hydraulic derby car, take one. Go Paul, go Paul. Yep, there they go, they're going off. 
They're going up. They're going up. The car's actually moving. Well, if you can see right here that we are starting to crease the car some. But, yeah. We were working on the car there that day. Another quick angle. Because we got bored. <laughs> if you look at this video here, you'll see uh, we creased the uh, driver's uh, passenger door and the back door. And you can kind of see that there is now a bar behind the seat. Let me find a better angle. Right there, you can see the bar behind the seat. Plus, we have now put a um, Chevy Cavalier front seat in the uh, car. If you can tell there. Uh, yeah. Nothing new to the uh, fenders. In the motor, it actually runs and turns over. As I was saying there, it's, it does run and turn over there. And, uh, we still never had the fuel tank hooked up. But I think we hooked up a, uh, something like a stuck a fuel line on there or something. I don't remember what we did, but we got it to run. Well, the Saturn. Here's a little side note. The Saturn right beside the uh, Buick, the first ever Buick. There's a car we picked up for like a few bucks and turned around and flipped and got some good money out of that car. My buddy did. And there's Brian Sharp sitting in the Buick. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Just another little quick uh, shot of the uh, Saturn in the uh, old Chevy Cavalier U car. Well, there's what the car looked like now. I think this was like in, I don't know, I want to say December of 2015. We have uh, creased both sides, the back, back trunks creased. Uh, I decided to for some reason, put a metal grate there. I thought, oh, let's just use something out of an old refrigerator or a stove or something. I don't remember where the hell that came from. But I, well, I welded it up there on the on the windshield, using it as like a screen for the the car. And uh, but it looked kind of dumb. But uh, and then plus, if you look out, the fenders are cut out. We were thinking about putting bigger wheels on the car for some reason. But we decided to leave it with stock wheels. But yeah, um, you can tell there, there's the old metal thing. Let's see if I can find another angle for you guys. Just listen 25 degrees out in December. Crazy weather. I'll catch you guys later. Please subscribe and please like this video. Coming very soon, the running and driving video of this car. Well, there's a side shot of it, a better angle of it. But yeah, in the where I said it was 85 degrees or 75 degrees out in December. It was a warm day. And just think about it, this: this is the year. This is December 2015. This year. The following year, the next year, 2016, we had the really weird snowstorm. We had that big old snowstorm. But yeah, we were probably just messing with the car a little bit that day. And also, you can see in the background, right behind Allen, it's that 81 Cutlass. Which one day I will talk about that whole, I'll talk about that car. The car still exists, still have it. But one day I will make a whole video about that car in the future. Let's continue with this car. Well, guys, it was running. Hey everybody, Dan Simon, Dan Simon's YouTube channel. And today, Dan Simon's hashtag 1100 derby car fuel lines are hooked up. He's got it running. Well, guys. We got the thing running finally. Off an old Chevy Cavalier gas tank. Which is pretty funny. We got it finally running off an old Chevy Cavalier, Chevy Cavalier gas tank. And uh, so we're just testing it out. Make sure it's running everything good. And uh, I don't know who the hell that is standing there watching. <laughs> I've never noticed him. I've watched this video a million times. But I've never seen that guy before. Or 
surprised you somebody was up there that day. But yeah, guys, uh, we got the old thing running, and it ran pretty good. But yeah, guys, let's uh, see what else we, I can find. Weird interior shot right there. Oh, the 89 Buick. <laughs> That's the 89 Buick right there. The That would be the, become the second one we had. This is the one I... Because of the 92 Buick, which I've been talking about. This one is one I learned. I said, don't cut those li the wires on the tail light. This one still had the gas tank still hooked up in it. Well, now the 89's in front of it. There's the 92, which is uh, sitting right there. So, talking about the 89 Buick Century real quick. Uh, that spring, we ended up getting another car for really cheap. Really, really cheap. Bought one for cheap. Went up and got it. We already done it. You know, we stripped it out. Uh, the... Um, that car ran pretty good. It went through a couple derbies and stuff, the 89 century, but me and Alan were going to team up, and uh, I was going to ride in this car, and he's going to run that in other car. And we're going to go out there in the figure eight and be a team, basically, and go out there and run together. But, yeah, it was fun, though. It was interesting, but fun. But the car now is just sitting back there, Waiting for the season to start and stuff. Trunk on my car. As you can tell, it's got a bar behind the seat. It's got a, uh, believe it or not, that's a Chevy Cavalier gas tank, which yeah, works with this car. It starts right up. But, I'm talking about the trunks. Now we do the trunks on. This is how I did mine. I rolled mine right in the middle. Hold on. Well, on my car, you can tell how I did some creasing. Right there, I'm talking about doing the creasing and stuff. And uh, it's pretty neat. And That car held up pretty good. But when this car went through the derby, it, it never hit the figure eight, but it didn't make it to the derby. That trunk held up really well. But we'll get to that point here in the in the future. Well, there's Alan. <laughs> Brian Sharp in the background. Well, guys. Oh, yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow, Jefferson. Oh, yeah. Look right back there. <laughs> look, here's my truck. Back. Finally. Now, uh, still need to talk from here. Well, apparently in this video, I'm talking about the net. We're going to Jefferson that day. And, uh, there's my old GMC truck, Allen's truck. But there's the car right there. Head over in the shade to have my truck sitting there. I had back in the day old GMC truck. Seen a bunch of videos, guys. It was always in videos. But, uh, yeah. I think after this might be Jefferson video. Possibly. Well, guys. Yeah. Don't get along just a little bit so I can talk through this one. Guys, there, right there is the car in the uh, derby. The funny thing is, see that sign there? Sign right here that I'm pointing to, right behind me. Right behind my head. That's the exact same sign that's on that car. I mean, that's what's left of it. Because we used a little piece of it for some strapping. But I wanted to keep that. That was like my first ever roof sign. But, uh, yeah. There's the car in the derby. Did pretty good. It's very awesome, though. Guys, um, I'll give you guys a little bit more footage here. But, yeah, let's, I want to pause it. Well, guys, let's talk about the, well, there's a picture of it in the derby. Next video will be the walk around. aftermath of uh, Jefferson County. And there's Brian in the background. Hey, buddy. Yep. Blue tire. The back. The inside looks pretty good. 
back. There's what the back looks like, guys. Oh, boy. Okay, we're back. I did it again. <laughs> Hit the stop button. Guys, um, everything will be edited in one big video. Um, we're talking about the aftermath of this vehicle. Well, this car actually held up pretty good. The only thing actually broke on this car was this wheel right here. The front passenger uh, wheel. Which, uh... Broke die rod. So we decided to keep the car for another year. Uh, but yeah. It held up pretty good though. This car. This is the other Buick Century. Little quick tidbit on this one. This car, uh, the motor went out of it. It just started clunking and dying. So we killed the motor in this car. Held up pretty good, but the motor went out of it. But it was a bad car. Back to the 92 Buick Central. Yep. Oh, the Taurus is in the background there. That became a future derby car. <laughs> that thing did pretty good. We took to a couple derbies in 2017. As this is the end. We're we'll starting to wrap up the 2016 derby season, but we took... We took that tour to a couple derbies in 2017. That's why I think it came first came up there. When we first got the tour, and we got that thing ready for the 2017 derby season. Yep, there's the old tours. Kind of forgot about that one. But there's the car. Uh, I don't remember what the next video is, but we'll find out. All right. I'm back, guys. I'm back. Here we are working on the car. We are, uh, oh, we had to replace the, uh, did we have to replace the strut? I can't remember. I don't know what we did to that car. Well, we were probably working on the tie rod or strut or something on it. Uh, bumper is still up there. Somehow that car drove into the garage like that with the bumper hanging. Uh, yeah, it was interesting though. But yeah, guys, uh, let's see what else we can find. The old Subaru. The Subaru in the Buick. Well, we were working on that car there, and there's the old Subaru. What would you guys like to see this? How I build these derby cars, guys. Well. Would you, uh, you can see the gas tank back here. Well, guys, we, it's... I guess we got fixing the whatever we were fixing because that car sat there in that exact spot for probably a year, I think, or something like that. No, it didn't yet because there's a video where we're driving around. That'll be coming up here in a second. But I remember the funny thing, it came right back to that same damn spot about a year later or something. You'll see it if it's on this playlist. Channel. Hey, son. Today, I'm actually in a car you probably haven't seen in a while. Well, so well, there, I'm sitting inside the car. It's pretty interesting. Really, nothing to see on this video. Just talking about the car or something. Next video. Well, it looks like there we were working on it again. Maybe straighten up the front frame a little bit. I don't know what the hell we were doing at that point. But we were getting something done. Interestingly, though. Like I said, we wanted to keep the car for the 2017 derby season. Because it was still in good shape. But it just went through one derby. So, why not, you know, run it again. Run it until it died. And I'll tell you about how this car died. Or, it, well, how the car finished up. Let's just put it that way. Another side shot of it, like the creases. We were starting, we we're going to take the trunk lid off at this point. 
Uh, so we were breaking the welds, trying to get the trunk lid off. Then I was going to start V-notching the trunk because we, after reading up more about these cars, I learned more. It's like, yeah, we need to V-notch the trunk. Why don't we do this not in the first place, you know? But when you first start learning how to build derby cars, you, you don't know everything, you know? You do a little bit here and a little bit there, you know, guys? But being the first ever Buick, you know, you just wanted to get it done and build it. I guess time-wise now, it's probably October 2016 or November. October, November. Be yeah, it's something like that. This would become the first attempt of a uh, V8 Derby car. Uh, the motor locked up, and uh, I wanted to keep it around for parts, and I was going to take the body off the frame because the frame was shot on this car. Just a little side note, guys. But yeah, this car only lasted for a little bit. Also, ended up with an 85 at LeSabre, which I'm going to talk about that one day too, guys. About that car. But uh, yeah, back to the Buick. You blew it up. He blew the gear shift out of it. Uh, no. Blow up. Blow it up. Blow it up. Well, right there, guys. Uh, this is when we were just having a little bit of fun in the car. If you look at the video title, trying to put the derby car away fail. That was the title of this video. Uh, here you go. I'll give you guys the last few seconds of it. Yeah, it's just a little fun video, just showing the derby car, playing around with it a little bit, you know, having a little bit of fun. I don't know, there's still leaves on the bushes, so this is probably November, December, I don't know, probably November, maybe. But yeah, guys, uh, let's see what the next video is. Oh, here we go again with the car. All right, guys. There's the bumper for it. Yeah, we got a bumper for it at the time. Well, guys. We were uh, moving the cars from behind the shop to put them in, probably back there in the woods, just to get them out of the way so they're not behind the shop or nothing. And as you can see, the uh, big full size derby car just sitting there. We ended up pushing that one behind the shop because there's a better place to hide it. Um, there's the Sequoia up there, but yeah. That's all we did in this video. Pretty neat. I think there's a part two of this, so next video. Well, it's a derby car. Full <laughs> bomber truck. Instagram video. Just because I can. Look at it. Hell yeah! Instagram, dance up. Oh yeah! Oh. Fight another day. Forehead. Hey, Buick Century. Well, the Buick Century is sitting back there. This is just a March update. 
And, uh, yeah, there's the Buick Century. It's still around. Now it's just sitting back there. We had it covered up. Uh, this is the, this is March, right? March 20. Yeah, that's, this is the year we got, we didn't get no snow all winter. But right before we got into, uh, spring, it snowed. It was weird. It snowed for good, it snowed a good, about six to eight inches that day. And we had snow. But it's still around. Well, if you can see it in the fore background there, there it is sitting, I think. That or that's, no, that's the Cutlass. That's the Cutlass. That Buick right there is a car I got for like 200 bucks. We flipped it over and it never ran again. <laughs> it was supposed to be my Frederick County car for that year. There's a little, I don't know how this got on the playlist, but for a hundred bucks at my local uh, salvage yard, I gave them a $100 bill. They told me that I could have how many chrome bumpers or any old heavy metal bumpers for derby cars that I wanted. So I took them all. <laughs> I basically cleaned them out. But we pretty much used every one of those bumpers on a derby car somewhere here, there, everywhere. There, those bumpers were used. But yeah, guys, pretty cool. 100 bucks, And now some of those bumpers go in between for like there's a Ford bumper sitting right there. That Ford bumper go for about two to three hundred dollars now. That big heavy bumper in the back was that one go for about two, three to maybe four hundred dollars now. Crazy. I had a good deal there. There's a side shot of that one. Well, there's the Buick again. I did it again for the third second time. I keep hitting the stop button for some reason. I don't know why. Guys, yeah, but uh, there's the Buick. Uh, this is, I don't know what month this is. I don't even know. I don't know. But yeah, there's the Buick. It was still around. Well, there's the Buick again in another video with the old bumper now laying on the ground. <laughs> Oh, shit. I think we were going to put a new bumper on it anyways, but, uh, there's the old bumper just laying there on the ground. <laughs> I think we were, I was going to save the mounts off of it or something. I don't know. I was going to salvage something off the bumper. The bumper just needed to get a scrap yard at this point. The beginning of the tire pile. <laughs> and we used to, we used to have some scrap back there, too. We just I pick up some scrap here and there that we could use for cage material and it would go back there. But yeah, there's the old bumper in the old car. Quick little shot of the back of the car. So now, there's a damn mower just sitting there. I don't, I really don't remember ever getting that mower. But, uh, well... We were going to take the car, the full time chaos, the valley, but that never worked out. But we brought the car down here to start working on it again. And uh, you can tell the back end's starting to drag a little bit from that angle. But yeah, we were working on it there. You can tell the, the, uh, the frame rails were starting to go down a little bit there. Well, there's the other side of it. Did it? I don't know why I keep doing it. <sighs> All right, next video. This is a uh, dance off for dance off YouTube channel. Oh, here and today. That's why I had that Buick I bought. I just uploaded a video a little while ago about this car, and uh, got a full tank gas, if you can tell. And uh, what I'm gonna do today on this video is not talk about one. Buick, not two Buicks. Just don't hit the stop button again. <laughs> All right, guys, this is the interior shot of that Buick Century I bought for three hundred bucks. This car ran amazingly good. Uh, it really did not need no work except for like the coolant system needs to be flushed, and I uh, had I took it in to get a tune up, and this car drove around amazingly, but. About after six, seven months of owning it, 
this car right there would become the car of uh, which I talked about in a previous video um, the car that got me two wins in a demolition derby back to back with this car right here but for a while there it was my daily driver back to the Buick though well the Buick Century is back on working on it we have uh, brought it back up there. We took the wheel off. I guess we're finally going to fix the tie rod, which we never fixed yet. Back of it. Here's that Century again. I got for like 300 bucks. Here's a nice car, though. Let's talk about this right here. Um, the back of the trunk. On the Chaos car. This is what... This is what we have done so far to it. That's a better angle. So we we're trying to get the back end to come up. So at least fold in like this, not go down like that. So guys, it's we we're working on it, getting it ready. The car never made the chaos. Um we just kept around for the the following, you know, this derby season now. Plus, I had to make some holes in the trunk there because you could tell the water in the back. There's the V8 Derby car again. Hi, Dan Simon for Dan Simon's YouTube channel to Dan Simon. And today, yes, sir. Yes, my girlfriend will be in the, uh, so the old. Ah. Uh. Please like, please share, and please subscribe. Let me go show you the. Well, yeah, Tyler was going to drive it in there, but uh, something happened with it that day. We made it there, and it wouldn't start for some reason. So we uh, saved it for the next week, which was Berkeley. Timeline right now, probably April of 2017. And, and just remember, this car came to me in 2015. About August of 2015. Well, there it is sitting there again in this video. Uh, nothing much changed. Okay, this is like the fifth time I've done this. Next video. Well... The car is there, but we'll uh, we'll show who was in this video. This is the beginning of what, who's going to drive the video. Well, I'll show you guys here in a second. Now it has changed. We were trying to figure out how to fit that bumper on there. They're going to trim it up and stuff, but we were starting to work on it again. And, uh, we decided to use the old Ford bumper on the car. As you can tell, uh, it looks a little different. Let's get a better angle. Well, here's a side shot of her. Um, yeah, there's, uh, we decided to change the colors from, from, uh, we still had the blue, but we made black for an end. So the car changed some. We had some duct tape to the doors, pillars, make it a little bit stronger, you know. A little bit different. But yeah, guys, looking good, though. Oh, there's the car. I guess we got it fixed up now, done. Put a, we put a, uh, uh, what the hell is that bar called? The window bar on it. So the car is going to Frederick County now. First, probably the second run. Not with some backyard derbies. <laughs> but, uh, it was going on to its second run in the derby. So, yeah, getting it all ready to go. There's a little funny tie in. There's my Frederick County car for that year that I drove, and I actually won the heat in. Pretty cool. The Jetta. That car 
<laughs> that car became the beaten car up there at the shop. We just started running cars into it because everything just quit on it. Well, I guess we're working on the car. Or we have it over there. But we do got the trunk going up a little bit better now. We got it to finally go up. So, you tell the difference there on it. It looks a lot better. But yeah, guys, um, it looks pretty good, though. Well, there's the front bumper on it. The Vic bumper's on there now. We got it welded up. It looks pretty cool. Looks pretty good on there. And we're getting ready. I guess we're still getting ready for Frederick County. Well, there's the Taurus. If you saw the Taurus in the background a little while ago, there it is getting worked on. Just a quick shot of it right there. I'll explain all this here in a minute. Here's some video. Let's watch it. The bumper's gone. It's stuck. Yeah. The bumper's stuck. Yeah. Alright, let's just stop there. Alright, well, the car never made it to Frederick County. It's something happened to it. I can't really remember, but we saved it for Berkeley. So the car made it to Berkeley. This be the second run at Berkeley out of four. Because now we're getting to the point where it, we should be at where it ends. The car, this is starting to become the beginning of the end of this car. The car started having issues. Probably because we let it sit over winter with gas in the lines and fuel in the lines. and The dumb you shouldn't do when you have a derby car. Usually you should just have the car like winterized. Me, I don't winterize shit. But uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Uh, this would be the end of it. But it should be a video or two more of when. This is what I told you guys uh, how this car ended. Oh, you're gonna see it here in a few minutes. In a few seconds, guys. The six-cylinder all free-for-all right here. There I am coming out. Honestly. Well, we're talking about it here. Coming out, coming out. Alright. Honestly, I don't know what took me out of the six cylinder free for all. I don't remember what happened. Um, the car is sitting way down there in the corner. You can kind of see it a little bit. But yeah, it's down there. But, uh. Alright, guys. Now it's time to talk about what did take this car out. But it did end up in the six cylinder free for all. Here we go. Pretty good. All right, guys, you ready for this? Let me pause it. So right now, I'm trying to keep the car going. I'm kind of stuck in some mud right there. I'm going to turn this down. Just the hair. All right, I'm stuck in some mud right there.
All right. As you can tell, I don't want to show the whole thing. You can watch these videos that are up on my channel. But what finally killed the car, the car caught fire. But it went out. So after that, they pushed me. Car fire right back up. I drove it out of the ring right to the trailer and the car would never start again. It was funny. It's like it just wanted to leave the ring by itself and but dive right by the trailer. So I got out of the car. Ended up getting like one of the guys with the forklift or the forks come pick up the car, put it on the trailer. After that, the car ended up the car was done. It, it was done with life. It went through four derby it went through at least four derbies. But it was a good car. It was a really good car. And a year later, and she actually saw a little clip of it. A year later, I had a uh, 92 Buick Century. Or, no, it was 95 Buick Century, which I'm already done a video talking about that car. I forgot that clip was in there. In the playlist for this car. And, uh, yeah, it was a good car. And it caught fire there, that derby. And it just... It was done. It's been through hell. So I ended up scrapping it. Got some good money out of it. Probably uh, got me through the derby, rest of the derby season that year. <coughs> um, took all the stuff I needed off of it. And uh, that was the end of it. Hold on a sec. This would be the final video of this car ever. Just remember, I got this car in August of 2015. This is August of 2017. I had this car for two years, guys. And this car went through hell. You can tell it's all beat up. It's muddy. It's dirty. But we got to run it in four derbies. It did pretty good, though. But yeah, like I said, it caught fire there in that previous derby clip there. And uh, guys, we're going to walk around and I'll let you guys look at it for one last time. Here we go. We're going to take one last look at the old 1992 Buick Century. It is head to the scrapyard now. This is it. But also in this video today, I'm going to be talking about Clark County cars and also Jefferson County cars and the last remaining car that needs to get to scrap as this moment. Starting with the Clark County cars. But the old 91 Subaru. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that whole video clip of everything, you know. I don't know why I kept pausing the video or hitting stop. I, I think I was like recording a video. There, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, right before I got off here, that car right there got me second place in my first ever trophy at Clark County Fair. So, you know the story if you watch the other video about the Buick right beside, right behind it. I kind of, it's a, I, I, it's kind of honorary, iconic. My first ever Buick, and then the Buick right beside would be would become the car that got me two back to back wins. Crazy. And this car right here gave me my first ever trophy. Strange how, like, first Buick ever, second Buick. <laughs> now, I did run the Sabres and stuff, too, but first century, probably like the second century I ran. I think, yeah. Only ran two centuries the whole time. But, uh, first century sitting next to the next century with a nose mobile in the foreground, they actually won me a trophy. Weird how that stuff works out. But yeah, guys. Stay tuned for more video content. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye, guys. Peace.